Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. From this video, we are going to start with AMBA APB bus protocol. So this is a basic block diagram of AMBA AHB bus protocol, where AHB bus interface and APB bus interface are connected using a AHB to APB bridge. So we have already completed our advanced high performance bus that is AHB, AHB bus. Now we are going to start with advanced peripheral bus that is APB bus that is our now we are going to start with our APB bus. So in AHB bus, AHB bus is used to connect external uh, AHB bus is used to connect with the devices like external memory DMA device, uh, we will use high speed processor or ROM or on chip RAM. So these are basically high performance devices. So high performance devices or high memory or the devices which require more memory will be connected with the AHB interface. Whereas here on the right side, we can see the peripherals like keyboard, printer, input output devices or timer. Here these type of devices are very low performance devices. These are very low performance. So these type of peripherals are connected using the APB interface. So these type of peripherals or low performance devices are connected with the help of APB interface. So APB interface is used for connecting low performance devices. So now the features of APB interface are APB interface is designed for accessing programmable control register of peripheral devices and APB peripherals are typically connected to the main memory system using the APB bridge. So the APB interface is not pipeline and it is a simple synchronous protocol. Every transfer can take at least two cycles. So APB, APB interface is not pipeline. It is not pipeline. APB interface is not pipeline. It is a simple protocol. APB interface is a simple protocol and it is synchronous protocol. And for every transfer in APB protocol, we need at least two cycles for completing one transfer. And APB protocol is a low cost optimized for minimal power consumption. APB protocol or APB interface is used in the cases of low power or minimal power consumption. APB interface is used for minimal power consumption. So these are some of the features of APB bus or APB interface. Now, so basically the APB, is, APB interface is connected to a bridge. So here we have already seen this APB interface. Here on the right side we have an APB interface and on the left side we have AHB interface. So AHB and APB interface are connected using a bridge. Since AHB interface is a high performance bus, it is used for connecting devices with high performance, whereas APB interface is dealing with low performance devices. So here for connecting the high performance with the low performance interface, here AHB is a high performance interface, whereas APB is a low performance. So for connecting high performance and low performance interfaces like AHB and APB, we are using a AHB to APB bridge. So that's why we are using an AHB to APB bridge for connecting these two interfaces. So here we can see there is a bridge which is connecting the APB interface and above this bridge we will have our AHB interface. So we are getting the signals from the bridge. The signals from the AHB interface, the the signals from the HB interface are fed to the fed to our bridge and bridge gives the inputs to our APB interface and it will take the outputs of APB interface and give it to the HB interface. So bridge helps communicating the HB and APB interface. Now let's see the signals associated with our APB interface. We have P clock which is our clock source here. Every signal is represented by P which represents APB interface. So P clock is our clock source. Next we have P reset in which is a active low reset, active low reset. P represents 
APB interface. Whereas in AHB, we have seen our signals are starting with letter H. Next, P address. So this P address is the address bus. This is the address bus where the address information is passed with the help of this bus. This bus can be up to 32 bits wide. So with the help of this address bus, the AHB interface sends the address of the sends the address of the slave to which it wants to communicate, to which it wants to send or receive the data, that address information of the slave will be given to the bridge and bridge gives and from the and from the bridge we will get as the output and it will be fed into the APB interface. So this is P address gives the address information. P rot. P rot is a protection type. This signal indicates the normal privileged or secure protection level of the transaction and whether the transaction is a data access or an instruction process. So this P rot is a protection type. Sorry, this signal is not P rot, it is PP rot. PP rot. And we have P select X. So P select X is a signal used to select which select the corresponding slave. For selecting corresponding slave, P select, P select X signal is used. So P select in the place of X, if it is 0, corresponding slave is selected. P select one corresponding slave is selected and so on and p enable p enable enables the p enable enables the transfer and coming to p write indicates the apb write axis when high and apb read axis when low so when p write is equal to 1 here there are two scenarios this p write gives that basically this p write gives the direction of the data when p write is equal to 1 so when this p write signal is used to indicate the direction of the data so when p write is equal to 1 it indicates a write operation and when p write is equal to 0 it indicates a read operation that is if p write is equal to 1 it indicates a write operation that is the data is transferring from bridge to apb interface and when p write is equal to 0 it is a read transfer that is the data direction is from APB interface to the bridge. And we have PW data that is it is a write data bus. It will be also of it can be of 8 or 16 or 32 bits wide. So the write data bus can be of 8, 16 or 32 bytes and the data the write data the data from the bridge to APB interface is carried by the PW data bus.